Hey beauties, what's up? It is Kara here from Ksways.com coming at you with my foundation, highlight, and contour routine. So if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned to this video. As you read from the title, we will be doing this foundation, highlight, and contour using some Cover FX products, starting off with the mattifying primer from Cover FX. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my palette here and we're gonna mix that with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. My shade in these drops are N100. And I'm just taking a couple of drops there. As you see, there wasn't enough in there, so I had to go back in, and we're gonna add a couple of drops. They say three drops is full coverage, and I didn't do any color correcting or anything like that. I just wanted you guys to see exactly how this how these custom drops work for me and I've been loving them I've mixed them with so many different things but as you can see I'm using the back of my Morphe brush I love this brush it's the M463 I believe and I'm gonna go ahead and spray that brush with a little bit of my Evian spray take some of that moisture off with the back of my hand going all over first I like to press the foundation in and then I will eventually be buffing it out making sure everything is nice and smooth and seamless on my skin. Now I haven't really been wearing liquid foundation too often lately, but before it got really, really deep into the summer, I was using these custom FX drops like crazy. I mixed it with different foundations. I've mixed it with different primers. I've mixed it with a moisturizer and it worked fine with everything. Now taking the Cover FX Contour Kit in the shade N Deep, and this is just a close-up of it. I'm taking that first shade underneath my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin area, and above and below where my cupid's bow is. And you just want to highlight the areas where the natural light hits your face and accentuates your accentuates your features. I'm also taking that highlight shade underneath where I'm going to apply my contour just to give it more of that definition where you can see the difference between the highlight and the contour. Speaking of contour, we're gonna take that fourth shade and I know it looks rather dark here, but trust, when you blend it out, you really can't even tell it was that dark going on. So I really enjoy this Cover FX custom contour kit I don't tend to reach for it a lot now because it's warmer and it is a cream product but I can definitely see myself using it a lot more when winter time hits so just showing you what my highlight and contour is looking like and we're gonna go ahead and spray a beauty blender so that we can go ahead and blend all these cream products out taking my beauty blender I'm gonna start off blending with blending the highlight shades first so Again, underneath your eyes, the chin area, your forehead, down the bridge of your nose. And I realized that I didn't use the deepest shade around the perimeter of my face. I do like to contour around the perimeter of my face. And contouring is basically where you want to add shadows to your face so that it's not so drawn to the light it actually pushes back so it makes your forehead look a little slimmer brings out your cheekbones and I like to do it underneath my jaw my jawline just so that I have a more chiseled look and it shapes my face a little bit more and it also hides that double neck that some of us tend to have raise your hands if you like me and got that double neck that you try to contour out and you will see here that I'm blending for my life. When it comes to cream products, you wanna definitely make sure that you blend away because you don't want anything just sitting there looking harsh. So I'm just going in with that beauty blender and blending everything out. And I'm using the same exact beauty blender. That's why I started off with the highlight shades first because it's lighter and then going into that deeper shade, blending out that contour. Now to set all those cream products, I'm actually gonna use my Anastasia Custom contour kit these are powders and I love these powders if you guys want more information I'll have an Anastasia haul video coming soon but I'm taking the shade peaches and cream and I am setting that highlight underneath my eyes with the shade peaches and cream 
and of course my camera cut off so you didn't see me set all the highlight shades but now you see me setting my contour and I'm using the shade Karab which is the darkest shade in my contour kit from Anastasia and I'm just going to set all those cream products with the powders. Again with my Evian spray because I just can't get enough of it. I like to buff out all those harsh lines using my Real Techniques powder brush. Just making sure that everything looks seamless of course. I don't want any harsh lines. I don't want you to see exactly where I stopped blending the highlight and started blending the contour or anything like that. Now this is a new addition to my collection. It's the e.l.f. I'm not sure of the exact name. If anything, just make sure you guys check out the description box and I'll leave all the information down below. But I am loving this blush kit. I just picked it up from my CVS yesterday and I wouldn't think it was this damn pigmented. It looks like crazy right now. But trust me, I do blend everything out. Okay? You will not see me looking like Bozo the Clown with this pigmented as blush but elf did they think with this palette it is six dollars in your local wherever they sell elf products definitely check them out and now i'm going in with the oldie but goodie this is stereo rose from matt cosmetics it was a limited edition mineralized skin finish and i'm using that to highlight just my cheekbone area and above my brow bone and in a minute you'll see that i'm going to use a different highlight shade for the middle of my face where the rest of my highlight is but I'm using my fan brush and here you see I'm taking the Buxom, hot, the Buxom bronzer in Tahiti and I'm using that to highlight the rest of the areas of my face where I want that highlight to be. I just love this bronzer. It's one of my favorite bronzers right now. I use it like damn near on a daily basis. I absolutely love Buxom in Tahiti. And yes, taking the dose of colors black rose I love this shade as well and congratulations to La Fashion Chica that's my girl from BLM she actually won the giveaway for the black rose over on Instagram and I did contact the giveaway winner here on YouTube I just haven't heard back from them as yet so I'm waiting to hear back from her before I actually announce it now I'm taking the NARS translucent powder and this is like a final setting powder basically. I just wanted to go ahead and blend this out some more. Like I said, that blush was a little potent so I wanted to blend this stuff out so that everything looks nice and seamless and that blush is not so harsh. So yeah, just blending that out, buffing everything, adding my Evian spray again just to liven the face up some more. And do y'all see how that stereo rose is popping now that I added that Evian? Like seriously, sometimes I even add a little bit to my brush before adding like a highlight or bronzer and it definitely makes it pop. But just blending and buffing everything out, just, you know, like I said, I like my face to look seamless. You can't tell where one thing started. And here is the finished look. Guys, I'm really digging the Cover FX products. And if you see that popping contour, and blush everything looks really nice i love this look and if you guys enjoyed it definitely give it a thumbs up if you haven't already check out my latest videos make sure you subscribe to k's waist so you don't miss anything else and until next time beauties i will catch you guys on the next one bye y'all